Hello everyone and welcome to another MetaAds video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to add users to your Meta Business Manager. So let's say you want to invite a freelancer, someone who's going to help you with advertising, your agency or a stakeholder. Step number one, you're going to come here to business.facebook.com. You're going to access your business manager. Step number two, you're going to like the video. You're going to subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And then you're going to go all the way to the bottom left. You're going to click on business settings. Once you click on business settings, then you are going to go to the left hand side column and you're going to click here under users that says people. Once you click on people, then you're going to come here. You're going to click on add. Once you click on add, you're going to come here that says enter email addresses. You're going to type the email address. For example, let's say Sotirios xyzlab.com and so forth. So once you add the email address, then there is one more step. You're going to select the user. Once you select the user that you just added, you are going to come here and click on Add Assets. And then you're going to give them access first to your page or the pages that you want them to manage. So under Pages here, you're going to go to New or Classic Pages and you're going to select all the pages that you want them to basically manage. Then from the column on the right, you are going to say full control, for example, or ads, insights, and so forth. If you are adding people to advertise, make sure that you give them advertising access. More things that you need to do, you need to click on the left-hand side here under select asset type to add accounts. You're going to select your ad account. You're going to give them full control so that they can access the account and also manage the campaigns. Then you're going to come here, you're going to click on pixels. You're going to select the pixel if you have one of your account. You're going to say manage pixels. And last, you are going to click on Instagram accounts. You are going to select here the Instagram account that you want to grant access to. And if, let's say, you are adding someone for advertising purposes, you are going to click on ads. And last, you are going to save changes. So one more time, just to make sure that everybody gets what you need to do, you're going to come to your business manager, click on business settings in the bottom left. Then under users, you're going to go to people. You're going to click here, add. You're going to add the email address. Once you add the email address and you send the invite, you're going to click the name of the person. You're going to say add assets from the column on the right. And here, one by one, you're going to give them access to the Facebook pages that you want them to manage, including at the very minimum, I would say advertising access or content access if you want to publish, you want them to publish content. Then add accounts. If you want them to advertise, select the ad accounts, then give them full control. Then pixels, select the pixel, then give them full control. And then you're going to click on Instagram account, select the Instagram account, and then give them access to advertise or publish content. If your page or your Instagram account are not connected. What you're going to do is you're going to go on the left hand side under accounts. You're going to go to pages. You are going to click on add and you are going basically here to add the page. And for the Instagram account, you're going to come here. You're going to click an Instagram account. You're going to click on add and you're going to say connect your Instagram account. And that's it, that's how you can add people to your Meta Business Manager. So remember, it's not enough to just invite them. You need to grant them access to all of your assets. Pages, ad accounts, pixels, Instagram account. That's the most important assets that you need to grant access to your freelancers or stakeholders. That's it. I hope that you solve this problem once and for all. Thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.